This is Doug Piper from Meat and Livestock Australia. He's here for the Butcher Wars and, and he's going to be a judge, uh, very well qualified. Mate, the Butcher Wars concept, obviously this is uh, I think the fourth event of its kind. Um, now, meat stock has a lot of elements being barbecue wars, uh, bar wars and butcher wars, and this is one of the popular ones. Mate, how do they judge it? What, how's the judging system work? Well, it's actually broke, the judging is broken down into four sections and it's, it's all about speed and how efficiently they can break down their, their lamb and their pork, uh, what, what they can actually do to showcase their talent as a butcher, so making value added products and doing something sort of a little bit innovative, you know, so it's a bit, bit about, um, I suppose, what they're doing in the butcher shops these days, creating meal solutions, something different, you know, rather than just sausages, chops and steaks, and um, also their display, so how they display their meat out there as well, so making it look attractive. Uh, and then there's also that part about actually knowing how to cook it. Like you guys, you know, you've got to know how to cook your meat. You've got to tell people how to cook it. So that, that's basically, in a nutshell, what it's all about. And who are the competitors? Have we got amateurs out there or are there a lot of these guys butchers and, and professionals, li lifelong butchers in some cases? Yeah, they're all butchers. They're, they're from, I think we've got a couple there from New Zealand. We've got a couple of guys from South Australia, uh, Melbourne and Sydney. So it's pretty well just butchers from around Australia. These guys either own their own business or they're working for somebody uh, as a butcher in a butcher shop, so they're, they're very well uh, credited with coming to this competition. Now this is meat stock and, and the third uh, meat stock on the tour. Um, it's very popular, we've been to all three. Uh, being the industry body for meat and livestock, how do you find the, the popularity of meat and where it's headed? Uh, look, you know, everybody's more interested in about what they're eating these days. They want to know uh, what else is out there they can actually try, like you guys cook up a mean brisket, you know, or, or a pork, pork shoulder or whatever. Um, you know, people at home, the consumers, are here to learn a little bit more about that. So we're basically, in a nutshell, meat stock is educating the consumers about what they can actually eat these days. We're finding that too, when people are coming up to us asking, what you know, what are you doing? How do you do it? What's that smoker? Where do you get it from? So it is a real budget of education for people. So good to talk to you, Doug. Thank you You're so much. Place. Thanks a lot. Good on you. Cheers.